uh, gallery pieces out on the table. Can't wait. See you soon. Oh, I'm gone. Where'd I go? Ah, oh, there I am. <laughs> wow, check that out. That is so beautiful. This is just a taste of what we have tonight. We've got some large, beautiful jewelry, uh, Southwest. It's all Native American tonight. Look uh, at the matrix in those stones. It's so much character. Awesome. Hello, Rita. I knew you were going to be number one. Thanks for sharing some of your jewelry with us today. Um, hello, everyone. We'll give everyone a few minutes to get here. Uh, I'm Matthew James here at Turquoise Guys. I'm here with Dunji. Hi. And uh, we've got Holden and Miki back there uh, behind the camera. Hello, everyone. Uh, so welcome to our Friday show. Um, we are Turquoise Guys, a small jewelry shop in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we'd like to share some of our jewelry with you. Uh, we're going to be showing jewelry on the camera. Um, this jewelry is all for sale, so if you see something you like, uh, let us know. Uh, just say sold in the comments and we will set it aside for you. These pieces tonight are all one of a kind, uh, unique. There is only one. Uh, it is first come, first serve. If you see something you like, you got to jump on it um, because there is only one and we can't make replications of this. Um, we are here uh, every week. Um, Friday is kind of our bigger show. We have gallery pieces, the big, um, I like to, I like to call our jewelry art. Um, so we have larger artist pieces tonight. Um, these pieces are from uh, several different artists all around uh, the Southwest, uh, in the New Mexico area. Um, and I can't wait to get into it. How are you tonight? Hello, watching from Virginia. Hi, Virginia. Paula Kim, hi. All right, so um, yeah, I wanted to uh, give a big thank you to everyone uh, who has been following our uh, progress of our nonprofit. We don't even have uh, our program live yet, but we've had such good positive feedback. Um, and what I mean by that, we've got a nonprofit branch of our company uh, called T Skies Co op. And one of the initiatives that we are going to be getting into, and I probably spilled the beans a couple weeks ago and let everybody know that we're doing a scholarship program uh, for students who want to get into the jewelry program. Um, specifically, this scholarship is for Native American students, and uh, these students will get a full ride through the jewelry program at CNM, our local community college. And we've had just so many positive messages um, and, and actually people donating uh, to that scholarship. Yes, and the, the summer semester starts, what did we say, May? It's like May 12th or May something? 17th, May 17th, I think. That's it. So it's just right around the corner, and there's so many kids that, you know, need help buying tools, books. Oh my God, school is so expensive, not to mention eating. You know, I gotta fuel their little brains. And I think that this is such an incredible program because it's, I mean, you get to buy jewelry and it makes you feel good, but then it, it's helping somebody else. And I think that that is just an incredible thing that we do here. And I'm really excited to be getting involved with it. It's it's something that really touches me on a personal level. Awesome. I'm Navajo, so I uh, I love anything that's giving back to the community in that way. That's right. It's It was it was an idea and it's really starting to catch fire. We've got, um, I've got some jewelry. This is our box of jewelry so far. Uh, we've got... I'm not going to show you because I want to leave it as a surprise. Maybe I'll show one piece. This was donated uh, to us this week by one of our artists that was on the show recently, uh, Rick Monty and Jeanette Nelson. Check that out. This is actually, Ooh. the white is actually buffalo bone. No way. Yeah, that's cool. That's we have uh, Laura Burt, and uh, we've got a, another um, package in today from uh, Ann uh, Dahlbear. She donated a bracelet, and wow, I'm just blown away by the oh gosh, such by the generosity, support. right? That's Super just awesome. Like... So what we're gonna do is mm -hmm. we're gonna have a live show uh, once we have our program live, and we are gonna sell the pieces. Maybe we'll do like an auction format or something, and the money from that will go to uh, a scholarship for students. I love it. So oh, and that jewelry in there is 
gorgeous. So I know a lot of you watch regularly that are fans of ours. This is not going to be something you want to miss because I've seen it and I know. Awesome. You can see we've got some beautiful pieces out here tonight. They're probably way back there on the screen. Um, but you ready to get into Let's it? Let's jump in. Okay. I have my eye on that one right there. I know. It couldn't it's help too big for my piece. teeny weeny little wrist, but I wish I could wear it. Check that out. Oh, the matrix and that stone are so gorgeous. There's so much character in it. This uh, is a natural turquoise stone um, from the Kingman Turquoise Mine in Arizona. This is a play on a traditional cluster, uh, cluster design, uh, very traditionally Navajo in style. It is sterling silver uh, and turquoise. Get into some more details here. Uh, I love the oxidation that patina, mm -hmm. it creates a shadow box look. Uh, we've got a hand twisted rope wire there around the center stone using a square wire. This is all handmade. Uh, I love these little flanks here. Can you see what they are? Looks like a butterfly or a dragonfly. It's a almost. dragonfly. Is it a dragonfly? I called it. That's right. <laughs> I always found that it was really interesting how. Uh, the dragonfly symbolically um, is so similar to the symbolism of Japan as the dragonfly in Japan is also, uh, it's like swift and good luck. It's connected to the water also, I Shumakolawa? think. Shumakolawa? Uh, yeah, the water it keeps away disease, I'd love cleanses. To. So we've got these dragonfly, handmade dragonfly flanks with the beat shot segmenting the wings and the body. This is a handmade uh, silver button. And then the piece is uh, uh, mounted on a four shank silver cuff. This is a fused four shanks of half round wire. And this is made by Richard Hosky, uh, Navajo silversmith. I've got a... I was gonna say, somebody said they have a tiny wrist. I have a tiny wrist, but I think it actually, it wasn't huge on me. Like, I think I, it's a little big on me, but I mean, I really have like crazy small wrist. I should have known this was Kingman. That's one of my favorite stones because of the matrix and the color and the character of it. Let me, let me try this one. The tattoos are a little distracting. It's got a nice weight to it. It's a lot of silver in that one, I can tell. A lot of silver. All the pieces that we have on the show tonight are going to honor our uh, our normal sale that we do for our live shows. We basically pull pieces either out of the gallery or um, directly from the artists, and we do 20% off retail here on the show. Uh, let me get a size for you. We're looking at five and a half with a one inch gap, so that will fit a six and a half inch wrist. Very snugly which is exactly my wrist there you go and does it have any give on it can they tighten it at all it it you can flex it a little bit but mm -hmm. you're really shrinking the gap there i would suggest uh bringing it up so you could do anywhere between six and a quarter to seven uh the price on this piece drum roll is uh 10.99 so 1100 dollars. we're going to be taking 20 percent off of that so what is that, Holden? $220 off. $880. $880. Ooh, that's a good deal. Is Kingman one of the harder stones to get these days? No, I would say Kingman's one of the more predominant stones. Is it? It's one of my favorites. I love it. I always now, am there's, attracted to it. Now, there's different variations of Kingman, and Kingman's one of the mines that you'll see um, almost everyone have as a default answer to what kind of turquoise it is because mm. there's so many different variations of turquoise. There's actually four mines in the Kingman district. Okay. So all of the mines that come from those mountains, those claims, we just call Kingman. And uh, it's pretty rare that you'll hear one of the other names, which is, oh, let's see if I remember, Kingman. There's Little Kingman, Ithaca Peak, and I think Turquoise Mountain. Oh, okay. Are the four uh, Kingman turquoise mines. 
And by default, they just say Kingman. Uh, the mine owner is Marty Cobol, mm -hmm. and uh, he's, he'll show off some of his work on Instagram. So anyway, there we go. Number one, Kingman bracelet on sale for $880. That's a beauty. It has such a classic southwestern look. Now, check this out. Does anybody know what kind of stone this is? I had to ask. It's a new one for me, and I love it. I always think of green as being lucky stones. It's such a deep green. Um, if you didn't know uh, Southwestern jewelry and how diverse turquoise is, you might not know that this is turquoise. Uh, this turquoise comes from uh, the turquoise mine called Broken Arrow. Broken Arrow is in the Candelaria uh, mine district in southern Nevada. Uh, Candelaria is historically a gold mine. Oh. And uh, you always find turquoise growing alongside it. it it's good guess, Vic, Vicky. It's actually Broken Arrow. Um, I don't have. I have a couple little blue stones of this. We should, we should do a turquoise uh, lesson this yes. week and, I, I and talk about that. turquoise. So this is a bracelet uh, made by Bertie Jake. That's uh, a Navajo artist, yes. That is a Navajo artist. She lives in through New Mexico, I believe. Oh, that's just over there. Practically Ooh. neighbors. This is a fairly large cuff. No, I've got this backwards. Now. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so out of it right now. Can you tell? <laughs> I've had a long day. That's not so bad. That's five and a quarter with a one inch gap. So we're looking at six and a quarter to start. Uh, Bertie Jake works in a group uh, with, uh, actually, uh, Virgil Begay passed away uh, a couple years ago. This but could be a guy's bracelet or a lady's. Totally. I like that about Indian jewelry. You always. Like, it can go either way a lot of times with some of these pieces. Yeah, if I open that a smidge, that'll fit me pretty good. This price is, uh, this price, this piece is retailing for $1,000. It'll be on sale for $800 with the 20% off. That stone is beautiful, and it has, I don't know if you, can you pick that up with the camera? It's got those little matrix with the... You can tell that it's not malachite because of those matrix. It's completely unique. I'll get a shot on this camera if that helps. Yeah, do that. Here we go. Let's take a closer look at this piece. Beautiful. I, I absolutely love it. It's so earthy and just unique. Beautiful deep green broken arrow turquoise. Uh, all encased in a handsaw bezel. This looks like the bezel was all cut by hand. You can see each of these individual saw marks uh, on the bezel, which is a unique touch there. Uh, the detail of that silversmith taking the time to do that bezel. Um, you don't find that a lot uh, in a lot of the contemporary jewelry these days um, because it's easy to just go to the store and buy pre-cut bezel. Mm -hmm but he hand cut. And you can see um, a good way to tell it, if you look closely at the bezel, you can see some of the imperfections, which I think are great. Um, knowing that it's handmade, we have that iconic uh, rope wire border in kind of a shadow box pattern with a large hand cut, uh, hand saw and file work. Uh, it's almost a Puebloan uh, geometric pattern border, Southwestern style. We've got the flattened bead shot on a one, two, three, four, five shank cuff. Um, Verdi's been making, uh, you know, the, the collector that uh, owns the belt actually provided the turquoise for this piece. That big belt from yesterday? Yep. I'll be darned. Oh, that fits me. Oh, well, that's grand new shop. <laughs> if nobody picks it up, you might just need to borrow that for right. a little while. <laughs> there we go. So That's that is number two. Piece. That is the Broken Arrow Turquoise Bracelet. Uh, number three. Here we go. Oh, man. Uh, Joe Draper is the artist. Huge. Look, it's bigger than the bracelet. Uh. 
This is a ring. I can't even fit it in the camera. That's oh. incredible. That's a power piece. This is also Kingman Turquoise. Can't even focus on it. Look at that. It's, it's bigger than my hand. Is that the one I put on and I screamed? I, I think <laughs> it was this one. But yeah, you want to scream? Here you go. I'll scream. <laughs> and I put some of these rings I put on today and I was like, oh my god, it's literally the size of my pinky. And I said, my grandma would have loved that. And I don't mean grandma because it's like an old lady piece of jewelry. I mean because my grandma was a Navajo woman that knew her jewelry. And yeah, she would have she would have fought you for it. <laughs> Look how great that looks. Like you don't, it doesn't matter what you're wearing. If you show up with this ring on, yeah, you're, no you're large and in charge. You gonna measure it? Cocktail ring for sure. That, oh, wow, I love Can it. Can you imagine having a cocktail and having that on your finger? And I'll, being like, I'll oh, break the glass yeah, on accident. You wanna accident. talk to me? <laughs> uh, we're looking at a nine and a half. A nine to nine and a half. You see all my ring size are there. So what do you tell people that maybe are in love with a ring but their finger's too small for it? Can they get it sized? So it really depends on the ring. Mm. Um, one of the problems with sizing rings is uh, with sterling silver to bring it up more than one size um, you're gonna have to cut the band and add material and by doing that um, how do you add material you have to use a torch oh so it can mess up the stones that's right as soon as you put a torch on it you the, these stones can't handle that heat and they what about to make it smaller to make it smaller, again, you're going to have to cut it and shrink it, and then you're going to have to seal. Okay. That's also going to take some heat, unless you have a laser welder, which we just got. Oh, now we're talking. So it is potentially able to be sized. I, I There's going to be a, a, a definitely a, an upcharge on that, um, but we can discuss but that. But it's a possibility. It is a possibility. So if someone has little tiny fingers like me and are in love with it, not all is lost. That's right. Amazing. I love just how that middle stone is framed. It's almost like a halo. It's beautiful. I uh, I had seen this piece that it was in the like early nineties. Maybe I had a note on my book on it. So vintage is anything that is twenty five years or older. It's two thousand one. So anything before nineteen ninety six is now considered vintage. Hmm. That makes me just feel really. Oh old. my god! I know. <laughs> <laughs> So, hey Tia, you're on YouTube today. Awesome. How many people do we have watching the show right now? Holden? Fifty-seven on Facebook and thirteen on YouTube. Hmm, that's kind of hey, low. Hey. I mean, they need to be inviting their friends. This needs to yeah, be an can event. Every, can everybody hear me? I'm wondering if we're just having a connection problem. Can everybody hear me tonight? Testing one, two. Oh, I'll give you the price on this whole thing. It was 900, so we're taking 20% off. That's 180 off. That'll be 270. I'm sorry, 720. <laughs> you know, you, you mentioned it being vintage or not vintage, but the thing that I've always loved and what my, you know, my family always taught me about jewelry, turquoise jewelry, native jewelry, is that it just doesn't go out of style. Like it never, it doesn't matter. It's completely timeless. Uh, turquoise is just one of those stones and, and this type of jewelry that just it just just looks great with everything no matter what the era is it's not dated at all yeah awesome we'll go back through these in a minute but that piece is uh, thank you for checking in everybody okay moving on as number three uh, number four oh this guy he's awesome so this is a uh, David tune he is a Navajo medicine man, but he's also he's also Creek. He's a member of the Creek uh, uh, tribe as well, and he does amazing inlay work. This is a very much a style. I, I feel that Charles De Loma pioneered, who is a Hopi silversmith, and uh, David's definitely made it his own and put his own unique twist on it. And we've got a wide variety of stones in there. We've got different variations of turquoise, coral, spiny oyster. This looks like sugilite, um, 
coral. This could be, uh, that's white shell. This could be um, ivory, like elk ivory. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's not easy to get. Uh, turquoise, spiny oyster, yeah, some lapis, and maybe some char right, right there. Cool. When I think of that, I think of that saying, like, in art, the art of randomness, when you, it makes it seem like it's just randomly thrown it into that pattern, but took forever to make it just balanced and just perfect. It's almost like an abstract painting when I look at it. Amazing. Uh, nice and thick, too. See how thick that is? It needs a deep groove for those inlay stones. The stone-to-stone -stone inlay. Uh, it's a cuff bracelet. We used to call it a cuff because it's a letter C. Let's get a measurement on this piece. This is five and a quarter with a one and a quarter inch gap, just slightly under that. So close to a six and a half, just slightly under. That'll be really tight on me. Check that out. Mm, that looks so good on. It just hugs your wrist. Yeah, that's great. You want to try it? Yes, of course. Oh, it's not going to come off now. There you go. Do I want to try hey, Ray. it? <laughs> Hi, Tammy. Hey, Tammy, I've got my laser welder uh, running. I'm going to try to work on your pendant this weekend. Lots of good feedback. Thank you, everyone. And please share the feed if you get a chance. All yes, right. I love the width of it and that little dip. What did you call it? Uh, I don't know. What, what did I call it? <laughs> I don't even think you had a word for it. <laughs> the depth. But it creates this dimension to it where it's not just, you know, um, just one chunk of silver. It's got some... It's three-dimensional. Some sculpture to it. Yes, three-dimensional and thick. I think a deep groove, is that what I said? Groove, yes, yeah. it's groovy. Groovy. <laughs> awesome, there we go. This piece is, uh, there you go, you can see David's uh, hallmark there on the inside. I know sometimes I forget to, to do that. Let me know if I miss something. David Toon, love the colors. Thank you, Tru Trudy. Uh, it was $600 on sale, 20% off. And so... What is that? That'd be one hundred twenty dollars off. That'd be three forty. Four hundred eighty dollars. Is that right? Six hundred minus one hundred twenty. Four eighty. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing head math over here. <laughs> I think that's a great price for all that silver. It's a heavy bracelet. These are bigger. These are bigger items tonight. Should we weigh it? We can do that. You got your scale in the drawer. I thought he did. Here we go. Do, 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 do. On. I want to do with the piece. It's right there. Oh, back on its spot. Okay, let me back up a little bit. We're looking at ounces. We like to measure stuff in grams. I don't know why. Uh, we're looking at 43.9 grams. Cool. Moving on. Uh, if, you, if you're watching live and you see something you like, um, you're welcome to say sold. But if you're watching the show uh, later this evening and we've got a lot of viewers tuning in afterwards um, and you see something you like, it could still be available or, um, uh, yeah, it could still be available. Uh, go ahead and leave us a message. You can call us here at the shop. 505-862-9443. You can reach us at tskies.com or uh, message us on Facebook. And if you see something, don't hesitate to ask. How do they know which to describe, like how to describe the piece? Just so, sort of... oh, you can say the name of the person. Um, we've got the numbers in the feed there. Okay. Holden just p pasted number four, stone inlay cuff bracelet, uh, size six and a half. Um, and if you just let us know the number, we'll, we'll have these marked down. Cool. All right. I feel really low energy today. You gotta. I know. Oh, I need to. Can we just? Can we do this for, for you? Yeah, sure. Can I beat the, the drum for you yeah. to get you livened up? Yeah. There we go. Happy Friday, TGIF. Yeah. Thank you. I can. I can feel it. As you can just 
feel it in your whole body. This is a beautiful drum. You know what? You should find a drum maker. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're, we're I feel like about... I've seen some signs like about that as I'm driving through Isleta on my way home. Yeah. Yeah. That would be Do you know cool. any drum makers out there? Send them our way. Yeah, we'd love to have him on the show and maybe even sell some of his drums. That would be really neat. Yeah. Cool. Uh, number five. Simple tr uh, coral cluster ring. Well, this one's going to go. Ah, oh, you know I love coral. There we go. Get a good shot of that. This is a, a random cluster. It starts off, I guess it's not super random. We've got some structure to it. Um, five stones in the middle. It's almost like a flower. You know what I love about coral work often is that they shape the bezel to the coral. They don't shape the coral to the bezel. Oh, right. And they just honor yeah, that, that organic, natural, natural shape of it, which I think is so powerful. Uh, this is a Kenneth Jones. He's a Navajo silversmith. Um, this is a size... Da, da, da. Size seven. Oh, it's an Angie size. All Pass right. it over. Here you go. <laughs> oh yeah. The coral is tempting. Oh, oh. Oh. I love it. It feels good on. It's definitely one of those rings that everybody's going to notice and ask you about. One sees that bolo tie coming up. If Jaren's watching, we've got a couple bolo ties for you, Jaren. Who did you say the artist was? Uh, that one was uh, Kenneth Jones. Kenneth Jones. Price on that piece is uh, $289. Uh, on sale, 20% off. What is that? 20% off, $289. $289. $289 .8. So that'll be $231. Awesome, size seven. Fabulous. Cool, thank you. That'll be number five. One more look on the camera. We can see Kenneth's uh, hallmark there. He's doing a his J, but then he's got a, a arrows here. The piece is mounted on a, a two shank split cuff. Beautiful coil. Too small for you, Tia. I'm sorry. There we go. Uh, layaway on the coral ring, of course. Uh, we'll let everybody know how layaway works, I guess. So if you see something you like um, and you purchase the piece, um, you are welcome to uh, pay for the piece right away. Um, all we need is your email, and we can send you an invoice. Uh, once you receive the email, you can pay with a credit card, with PayPal. Uh, we have a system called Klarna, which is a co uh, collections agency, and uh, you set up a deal with them where they pay for the piece right away, and you get the piece right away, and then you, you they set up a payment plan. Oh, cool. So that's kind of a cool way. Um, sold to, to Tammy. All right, Tammy. Tammy, we're so excited. Uh, if you like, if you spend over $250, if your whole ticket is over $250, then um, you're welcome to do our in-house layaway program. And for that, we require 25% down, which is non-refundable. And uh, we take 25% a month until you're paid off, and then we'll ship out your item. So thank you, Tammy. Congratulations. Uh, on the Tammy, program. wear it in good health. Whoa. Oh, I got a little wild there at the end. Got excited. <laughs> All right, Tammy. If you want to put the, the price on that, that was two eighty nine, but uh, so two thirty one. Yep. Cool. Got it. Ooh, what's next? I see a big old chunk of turquoise. Oh man, this is the one that made you scream earlier. Is that the one? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it literally all made me scream. Yeah, but... we should have got it on oh, camera. God. It's just, I mean, I don't know what to say. I love matrix and turquoise. That's 
to me, that's what makes turquoise beautiful, unique. Every stone is like a person, you know, they each has a personality because of it. And the matrix in this is almost, is that, it like almost looks golden. Mm -hmm. Is What is it? Is it copper? Uh, no, it's just the mother stone. It's just it's the, the mother stone. stone? Yep. So what we're talking about matrix, if you see the lines, the spiderweb looking pattern of the gold and the the brown and, and the different colors that you see in turquoise. I'll put it on this one, Holden, so we can get a good shot. Right. And the patina around it. Uh, Beautiful. This is what we call the host rock, although otherwise known as the mother stone. All of this beautiful contrasting color there, kind of making the spiderweb pattern. And then, yes, it has this natural patina around it. Do you see that, that darkening? That's interesting. Kind of older, those older pieces get that natural patina on it. Yeah, it's got such a classy, classic ring. I, I don't know, is a dinner ring the right word to use? Cocktail ring. Cocktail ring. They say cocktail ring because it's so flashy. You're having cocktails with people. Oh, and, oh, is that why? Yeah, and you're just showing everybody your <laughs> ring. Hi. <laughs> so that is a that turquoise is Pilot Mountain. You're about a size seven, and that fits you pretty good. Is yeah, that right? I'm like between the six and seven. It's a little loose on this one, but I you think if I went, I just like to use the middle finger because it's symmetrical. But yeah, it fits well. There's no such thing as a ring too big. Right. We'll call this one holding a, a Pilot Mountain turquoise ring. Pilot Mountain. Where's that at? Uh, it is in Nevada as well. Nevada. There's a lot of turquoise in Nevada. That's where primarily our United States turquoise comes from, right? Nevada? A lot of it's in Nevada and Arizona. Mm. We get some in New Mexico and Colorado, some in uh, even California. But yeah, turquoise needs a dry, arid, high elevation usually. Okay. So these areas are all prime. Uh, size eight and a half. Uh, this is a split shank. I think I said split shank earlier, but it was a multi shank. This one. It's actually one band and then it splits into uh, multiple shanks there. Take a look at the band. That, I, that band felt really good too. It had like a nice, it had a supple soft. feel about it. It was soft. I don't know. It just felt really good on the hand. The stone is bordered with a beautiful rope wire, uh, handmade silver buttons, and uh, the button and triangle wire layered border. This is, uh, uh, this piece is going in the gallery for 700. It'll be $140 off. And so that'll, that'll be 560 tonight. Someone's saying to wear rings on every finger. I, I feel like that's Can a challenge. Feel? Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> With these guys, they'll be. <laughs> you need more hands. I know. Or a bigger hand. We're ring on all fingers, thumb, everything. All of it. Like, was it Ringo Starr that had all the <laughs> had all the rings? Oh my goodness, are we ready for the bolo? Is well, that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Number the bolo. seven. All right, number seven. This is. Oh my goodness, it's like if somebody did a painting and used stones. Look at that. I was looking at it and forgot to show the camera. <laughs> cool. This is a uh, Zuni silversmith. Yeah, Jonathan uh, Bakuya. Oh my uh, gosh, the detail and attention. We have this buffalo dancer. You can see the buffalo headdress there. Where's uh, Jaren right now? Maybe I'll call him later. Am I wrong, or does the white shell of the of are those moccasins or the the footwear uh -huh. have like texture to them? Yeah. If you can, I don't even know if you can see that. Let me zoom in. Can you see the level all of attention of and detail, detail is yeah. out of control? Museum quality for sure. Tammy. Is that Tammy? Yep, yeah, it's Tammy. Tammy. Yeah, check that out. I, I don't even know if the camera... There we go. Yeah. The camera's picking up um, the artist textured the moccasins there to have that 
And then even up on the turquoise there, it looks like also has texture. Right, right here. That must have taken forever. This is all handmade, hand cut, turquoise inlay, buffalo dancer. Exquisite. Oh, look at the face even. It's hard to see until you saw it on camera. Oh, huh? wow. Jewelry like this just keeps telling a story. You think you know it, and then boop, there's another little detail. A lot of the classic uh, southwestern stones you use a lot of white shells. Um, this is a pin shell, this black shell, um, coral, turquoise, uh, and then another type of shell down here. Tell us who the artist is again. Yeah, um, his name is Jonathan uh, uh, Biku B Biuka. He's from Zuni Pueblo. I don't know much about him, I've not met him myself, but I have seen his work a couple times and they're always phenomenal. I was born in Zuni Pueblo. Were fun you really? Fact. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Sure was. Wow, it was that's... the closest Indian hospital to my dad's ranch. And oh, wow. by closest, I mean like over an hour away. My poor mother had to drive. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So yeah, the Buffalo Dancer uh, priced at $8.99, so $900 uh, with 20% off will be $720. Awesome. Museum piece. Speaking of museum pieces, do you want to talk about what you're wearing? Oh, he brought it in the room and I said, uh, can I wear that? Because, <laughs> well, I love squash blossoms, obviously. And it's got turquoise and silver, this gorgeous patina to it. And it's Navajo. I especially love the nausea, the open space on it, and the rope detail in the middle. It's airy, beautiful dimensions to it, and the, na the matching uh, little squash blossom earrings. Where are my camera? There we are. It's a great set. Yeah, it's fun. Like, it's got a lot of color, but it's not over the top. Like, it's yeah. very, it's subtle, but festive. It's a really classic look. What's the story behind it? Um, it's been in a vault for like 15 years. Well, no wonder I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I also, th this whole collection out here, I am working with a private collector and um, turning some of the, turning some of the jewelry. And yeah, we, we're super grateful for getting access to some of these So pieces. this was probably prior owned by somebody. So mm -hmm. it's carrying all that story and all that energy. It feels really... Sp I'm like one of those people and I, I put on a piece of jewelry like I feel like it has a personality and a presence and this one has just a very peaceful, nurturing, motherly feeling to it where I feel like it was mm. owned. Like it, could, it could have been my mama's or my auntie's, honestly, like it feels really sweet on. And it looks beautiful. I love looking at myself in the monitor there because <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> That's cool. It's Everyone so has to gorgeous. have their squash blossom. Not just one Splash Blossom. Do you know who you're talking to? It depends on the event and the time of the year and the outfit that you're wearing. And it, looks, have, it looks great with your black. You should have a Splash Blossom at least for every season. We should have a Splash Blossom party. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's a great piece. Um, so they're called Squash. I don't know. Do people know this? It's called Squash Blossoms, right? Because this is the Squash. The Squash. squash the Blossom. blossom. Yeah. And the squash is one of the sacred plants. So there's the three sisters. There's corn, squash, and beans, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so those were like the staple foods that we had. They were sacred. They kept us alive. And so this was a way of honoring, you know, these, these plants that co-evolved with us, that sustained us for so many generations and kept us alive. So, of course, naturally it's going to be reflected in the way that we adorn ourselves. And the nausea has a whole long history that is even like it goes back so far and then gets a little muddy so i think there's a lot to be studied there but we, we, an, we should do a whole nausea show yeah maybe i'll just i'll i'll save that but that's a good one it, that's, if, if you all like to hear more um we're happy to get into details i know i know we go on tangents and we get off on our our side notes but we really just love jewelry and get into it oh, so God, there's so much to love about jewelry do we want to talk about the details on this one yeah what, what is, is the i don't know uh, the price on this one was $1,900. Mm. More 
You need more clasps? Yeah, lots of clasps for the pearls. Uh, Devin and his mom and, and, and cousin are making Navajo pearls up there. So I got to meet a whole family class. today. I walked in. It was awesome. I'll be right back. Let me get them some class. Shep but, talks about well, how we're a family here. and Because I'm kind of newer here. And he talks about how we're a family. And it's like it's absolutely true. Like They have game nights. They have potlucks when COVID permitting. I'm so excited. I can get down on some potlucks. But, um, so can we do the math on this one? Can you do it for me? Let me see. Let me take it off. Let me look. What did he say it was? Um, 1899. 1520. 1520? You pop that up there, all right? Did you already pop it up there? And this is one of those pieces we talked about too, the vintage, the more vintage pieces that have that natural patina. Which really makes the stones pop because it, get, it gives the silver a little bit of a darker character. So. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm so jealous. Who got it? Debbie. I need new glass. I need new contacts, apparently. I need my, like, opera glasses. I hope you wear this in good health. This is one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. And you're going to have to forgive me, but I'm going to wear it for the rest of the show. And enjoy it for as long as I can before you get your hands on it. And I'm going to put all my good intentions and all my love into it. So this is for you, Debbie. And here comes our fearless leader. Somebody got the squash blossom. You're going to have to pry it away from me. No. Can she wear it for the show, Debbie? I told her she doesn't have a show. I'm wearing it, and I'm putting all my <laughs> love into it for her. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you for your support. Um, awesome. And that takes us to this incredible... I, I got here today, and I saw these stones, and I, I didn't know what to make of them. I've never seen stones like this before. They're, in, they're gorgeous, and it's totally new to me, and because I'm learning so much from... What do I call you? Matthew, Chef? Matthew James, Chef. Matthew, Matthew James. I'm learning yeah. so much from Matthew James. So take it away. You can call me Chef. I always try to, <laughs> so my name is Matthew James Shepherdson. Everyone calls me Chef, and I always try to go by my first name, and then it like it just turns into Chef. So okay. maybe I should just start introducing myself that way. Well, I have a weird name, so I understand. Check this out. I don't even know if the camera's going to be able to capture this. I don't, have you seen this turquoise on the market? This is what we've been calling uh, Golden Hills turquoise. It's turquoise. Can you believe it? I absolutely love it. It's look at the difference in color here. Almost opalescent. This is what um, it's pretty hot on the market right now. It's called Golden Hills. Um, the mine location is kind of secretive, but as far as I know, it's from Western Russia and uh, Eastern, Eastern Europe and Ukraine. Um, yeah, it's. Natural turquoise. It is. It's opalescent. I walked in here and was like, holy smokes, what is that? Because I'd never seen that stone before. Denise says it's her favorite turquoise. Yeah, just incredible. That lavender purple color is just so rare. Um, it's it's getting super expensive, too. We're lucky we... Uh, this isn't a bad price for this turquoise. It's getting... I, I think I saw it on the market. Um, for twenty-five dollars a carat. Whoa. That's probably more oh, than what this bracelet has cost. <laughs> this bracelet, um, and it's such a beautiful it's feminine design. I five and a half with a one inch gap. So that of course is my size. I just picked my size stuff today. It's one of those bracelets that you can just wear every day because it's you know it's eye catching but it's it's subtle. It's not got that. You know, it doesn't take up so much space on your arm that you're not going to get distracted by it while you're, you know, washing the dishes or going grocery shopping or whatever you're doing during your day. It's, it's to me, a piece of jewelry that I could see myself living in. What was the size on it? Uh, six and a half. Uh, Hallmark with an S. Uh, and there's also an SH here. Sam Holsky, I think, uses that hallmark. There's quite a few artists that use S and SH. Uh, the price on this piece was 600 on sale for 480 right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, $480 for Golden Hills turquoise? 
We're not going to see that again. No. Dick, uh, half round wire, uh, triple shank cuff with these, uh, what do they call these? It's not a flank because the flanks are usually right next to it, but I think I still call it a flank a lot of times. Where the solder point is, where they connect. And the artists usually do that to make it feel more uniform. So you can see the handmade jewelry, um, it's not perfect. And there's these little tricks of putting in these features to give it that uniform look while it's showing. Golden Hills Turquoise 480, this is number nine. I am going to just put this on. We could flex it a little bit smaller. Yeah. If you purchase the piece, uh, I'd be happy to size it down. I can size this down a little bit. I can also do a little bit of... Uh, so it's not that these cuffs are big. It's that I have really small... I could wear baby bracelets and they would fit me properly. So <laughs> I'm not the best bracelet model in that regard. It's not super flexible, Tammy. It's pretty solid. Um, you can flex it a little bit, but I, if you had a size in mind, um, let me know and I would shape it for you. I love it. I love the way it catches the light. Hi, Anki. Anki's from uh, Germany. Beautiful. What size am I? You, yeah. Oh, God. Here you go. That's a good, let's play that game. I, I don't think my hands and my feet have grown since elementary school. I'm not kidding. You're a small. Uh, you're like five and three quarters. <laughs> don't. Five, my five stepdaughters are bigger than I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's real. I think this might be one of my favorite pieces. Because of the way the light reflects in each stone differently with that, we said this already, the opalescent feel, but that gives each stone its own personality. It has such an energy about it that's watery it like reflects the moon like it feels like the moon to me the sky it definitely feels like a moonstone it's just it's very romantic i love it that little touch of lavender yes lavender that's a great way to describe that color that takes us to number nine well, okay these are going to be gone so just letting you know the price is really good on these and they're going to fly so we were talking yesterday about Santo Domingo, and you and uh, Angie mentioned uh, the the spiny oyster, oyster shell, show. and we had these earrings, and yes, and these are by Lupita yeah. Calabaza. Calabaza, yeah. Um, she says oh, she says oh. on the bracelet. Add to the layaway, uh, to the coral ring. Is that for the bracelet, Tammy? You're a size five and three fourths. We'll, we'll, we'll need to we'll need to shape it for her, mm -hmm. but yeah, if that's the case, we'll do it. These are so light; they're airy. I think of these as good summer earrings because I know here in the Southwest it gets hot, and if you have hair, I don't have hair right now, but if you have hair, it gets crazy, and you want earrings that are still glamorous and beautiful, but that aren't going to weigh you down in that heat. And now that we're going into summer, all right. Well, that I bracelet is sold to Tammy. Uh, sorry, Jennifer. Um, we're going to set that aside for you, Tammy, and. Um, I'll need to I'll need to size it down for you. For this one. That's right. Tammy. Tammy. Tammy, oh, you go, girl. I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna come borrow your jewelry, okay? This is for Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, I'll go set that on her card. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Yes, I love the spiny oyster. This is a very classic yeah. Santo Domingo look. Are they, is Santo Domingo one of the only Pueblos that uses spiny oyster in this way? Or did no. they just sort of invent it? Or? I'm not sure. I know that Acoma Pueblo, uh, a lot of the dancers will wear that. Mm -hmm. And there's always a lot of trade between the Pueblos. So, okay. you know, um, Santo Domingo is known more for jewelry. Acoma is known more for pottery. Um, Laguna, I've seen uh, people at Laguna Pueblo wear, like wear that. Santa Ana, San Felipe. They've got this swoop to them, that shell swoop. It feels really nice on the fingers. It's really, it's just a shell in its natural form for all its glory. And I'm sure, I'm sure they waited until they found a shell that had that pretty pattern, right? To just be able to make a matching pair like that. And then you said I, this is mosaic inlay. That's a mosaic inlay, that's right. And it has that, uh, that brick pattern, stone to stone. 
And then I think people wonder, like, why is Shell uh, so prevalent in native jewelry? Oh, you're mm -hmm. going to put it on this stand. To take, to take the ring off? Were you taking the ring off, or are you just putting it on the same layaway, Tammy? I thought she was just putting it on the same layaway with the ring at all. Okay, anyway. We'll get that sorted out. Yep. So shell. Shell isn't a lot of native jewelry, but we're in the desert. We're not by an ocean at all. Yeah. And that's because there was such extensive trade right. historically um, with the South, with our, with our relations in Central South America and Mexico, and with the coastal people. Um, so there was a lot of sharing of ideas, a lot of sharing of patterns, materials. And that is why you have shell in the desert. That's right. This shell comes from uh, the Gulf of Mexico. So this was traded up um, from the um, Central American and Northern Mexican tribes uh, mm -hmm. up to the Southwest. And it was, a, it was a commodity. So very beautiful. We've got the mosaic inlay here, the brick pattern of turquoise with sterling silver and spiny oyster. Beautiful. These uh, price on this uh, started at 120, and so we're taking uh, 28, uh, 24, 24 dollars off. So that'll be uh, 96 dollars for the earrings. I love the shape and the movement of those two, because if you put them together, it almost makes a, a full shell. Oh yeah, totally. That's probably, so they're a good face framer. That's probably how they got the matching shell. Oh yeah, I'm sure. There we go. So that is. Those are so sweet. You know, I don't have any uh, earrings like this in my collection. So I am an earring hoarder. I have a ridiculous earring collection. The bigger, the better. So, got my eyes on these ones, ladies. Were these number nine? They were. And what was the question? That was 120, so it'd be 96. Okay, hello. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Renegade the Transformer. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. Uh, if you're new to the show, uh, we're showing off our jewelry. And uh, do they have a uh, silver back? No, it's shell, shell in the back. Mm, yeah, that's we'll true. show the back off. Uh, if you see something you like, uh, you're welcome to buy. Just say sold, and we'll save it for you. Here we go. It's, it's the traditional way of doing it. It's actually the shell, and the turquoise is, is mounted on the shell. Sold. Sold to Tia Garland. Congratulations, Tia. Thank you, Tia. You're going to love these. They are a beautiful pair. For Tia. Right, Tia. Mm, okay, this next ring. I'll go take those and put them, take them off, otherwise we'll forget. It's also spiny, right? That is spiny oyster. We're keeping the spiny theme going for one more pair of, or one more, one more ring. Okay, every time I put on a new ring, I'm saying this is my favorite of the show. <laughs> This one really is my favorite. That flower design is so pretty. Oh my god, and that orange color that just pops with the oxidization. And the little concha designs, little flowers. And that rope detail. Here, give them a give them a close up. Okay, I'll, all right. The, pry it off my finger, but I'll let you have it. Here we go. Get close. Wow, look at that beautiful orange spiny <sighs> oyster. It's Isn't it just incredible the things that nature creates? All uh, of these stones, they come from Earth. Like nobody is dying them, nobody is manufacturing. That's Mother Earth just had a good day. Uh, Andrew uh, Sofke is the artist, Navajo. Uh, hey, uh, Vonda, yes, I will go back through everything that hasn't sold. Um, we're looking at a size eight and a half. Eight to eight and a half. Uh, spiny oyster cluster ring. Beautiful. Let's get a measurement on the on the face of the pendant. That is uh, two inches. Mm. Large ring. That's gonna. That's another great cocktail ring. Shazam. Boom. Uh, I love this oxidation technique. Very rustic Southwest style. Uh, the price on this piece was 700 
So it will be on sale uh, for, what is that, 140 off, uh, 560. I think that we're going to have to have a virtual cocktail hour for everyone that buys rings so we can just all show off our rings. I'll share cocktail pictures. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Hold on, that's number 11. I'm putting it back on for just a moment because I love it so much. What's the size on? Size 8. Mm, that's a showstopper. That's a lot of, there's some silver in there too. Where's our little scale? Right here. Let's give it away. Give it away? Give it a way. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, 37 ounce, uh, 37 whew, ounces, 37 grams. Ounces. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Mm, Thank you, Marilyn. That's a beautiful one. Oh my gosh, we're at the end. Almost. Um, what do you mean almost? Oh, because we're going to go back through? We'll go back through one more time. Oh. That one's, I can tell, too big for my little fingers. This one is slightly cool. adjustable. No way. Yeah, see, it's an adjustable band. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. So this Ooh, look is another works. cluster ring. <sighs> Turquoise cluster. It is adjustable. Got the thin band, but that band is flexible, so we can set it to your size. Nice hand stamp band there. Uh, right now, it's sized at a 12, um, but we can bring that basically to whatever size you want. Wow, that's that's a perk. Yeah. There it is again. I just love it whenever they make the ring match the shape of the stone instead of. You know, altering the stone too much for... Yeah, I've got that more natural cut yeah, yeah. there. And almost square edge stones. And the stones are flat. It's an interesting look. It looks... It has a retro look about it to me. It's got kind of that more primitive look. Like almost like a 70s vibe. Okay, I can see that. I mean, it is older. It's It's got that nice patina on it. Yeah, we will... It's... This is definitely a flex band, so we can size that however you like. Uh, we have someone joining us. Is that Anne? Hi, Leticia. And I didn't see Leticia. Virginia. I love her necklace. I'm sorry, Virginia. Oh, I it's know. So Isn't it great? They're going to have to pry it off of me. I, I don't think this is Sleeping Beauty, Tammy. I think it's, uh, I think it's Kingman. It's older, and... I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Kingman on the stone. Really awesome. Uh, this was priced at five ninety seven. so uh, what is that, 120 off? He always looks at me like I can do math. That's what we have the guys behind the computers for. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a creative, not a math person. <laughs> is this another one of our Navajo jewelers? Uh, this, was a, this was a vintage piece, um, a J. Morgan. J, J, James? 478. 478 is the price for number 11. Uh, this was not made here. This is older. This is mm. older than my shop. Okay. Yeah, see, I could see it. Yeah. That is number 11. Uh, adjustable uh, cluster man. That's I've cool. got my bolo that I'm wearing. I guess I can show that off for a second. This is a, uh, oh yeah, Edison Yazi. Edison Yazi is an inlay artist. Yazi, Navajo. Navajo, definitely. But look at that inlay work. Mm. There's a couple of Navajo inlay artists that are just really awesome. This is, would be uh, Edison Yazi. I know there's uh, Annie, oh, what is her name? Annie, Annie, Annie. It, it just reminds me of um, another silversmith that I know, and the name's not registering right now. We've got this beautiful green turquoise, the blue turquoise, spiny oyster. Actually, this is probably lion's paw. Here's a here's a, something to learn. Spiny oyster is usually orange mm -hmm. or purple. Um, its cousin. The lion's paw shell um, is orange and purple. Oh! 
So uh, when you see both orange and purple in the same place, it's usually a uh, lion's paw. Killer bolo, no kidding. I really love this one. This was priced at uh, $6.99. Yeah, $6.99. So $700, uh, 140 off, that'll be uh, $5.60 today. I love that pattern on it. I'm really into the Navajo cross design lately. Really? Mm -hmm. This symbolizes, uh, well, it has a lot of different symbolizations, but I always kind of associate it with the star. Okay. With stars, you know? Yeah. And then there's, um, in weaving, it has a different meaning. There's a couple of pieces of sterling silver in there as well. Kind of snuck their way in there. You want to look at it closer? Yes, please. Oh, I should show the tips as well. Oh, yeah. Can we get the camera over here, sir? These tips are beautiful. There's So there's some detail up on the top of them that might be hard for the camera to pick up, but they are patterned all the way around. And then these stones are just captivating. Mm. Now Jaren's missing out. Is yeah. Jaren our, our bolo? He's our bolo guy. Our bolo yeah. <laughs> Yeah, check out those. I, I'm assuming that those are either stamp textured or there is a rolling mill uh, used to create some texture on those bolo tips. That's cool. I didn't even see that before. Uh, nice leather cord and that beautiful inlay work. Edison Yazi. Uh, I didn't show the tips on the other bolo. Maybe oh. I should do that. On this, this little... They're almost like feathers. Yeah, something to show. The bolo we had on a little earlier tonight. Buffalo Dancer, Zuni Buffalo Dancer. Bolo. Super awesome. Look at the detail and in the inlay work there. And we have uh, tasseled tips. It's like silver feather all the way down to the tips. Great detail. Yeah. Good job, Jonathan. Mm. Somebody called this a museum piece earlier, and they are not lying. So we'll go back through real quick uh, our, our pieces tonight. These are higher end pieces, and so um, we like to show those uh, every now and then, whatever we can get our hands on. Uh, these are... Um, from a private collector. All right, let's get into it. We'll go through these one more time. We'll go through them fairly quickly. Now we've got our number one, our Kingman cluster bracelet. I think this is my favorite with the dragonfly uh, flanks. Lovely Kingman cluster. This was 1100 uh, on sale for 880. Number two is the Broken Arrow Turquoise. This is turquoise as well. Love that green color. Uh, size six and a half. Amazing silver work uh, by Bertie Jake. It was $1,000 on sale for $800. Got the giant turquoise ring. Mm. Size of my finger. Kingman, um, size nine and a half, the shank there, size nine and a half, uh, that was 900 on sale for 720. We've got the Dave uh, Tune bracelet, Medicine Man, Navajo Creek. Inlay artist, uh, priced at six hundred dollars, uh, on sale for four twenty. Wait, four eighty, huh? Four eighty. Uh, the ring came came back. Uh, great deal. This one sold real fast right away. Uh, so it is available again. I probably should have brought that back up. Uh, coral cluster ring. Um, size eight. 
get a look at the shank there, size eight, uh, was 290 on sale for, what is it, 231? 31. Got the Pilot Mountain mm. turquoise ring, just a big, beautiful blue turquoise stone, natural patina. Uh, was 700. This is size. This was size eight and a half. Here we go. Show off that shank. Try it on, please. Here you go, Lori. Yeah, that's. These these rings aren't kidding around tonight. Mm -hmm. Size on number four. Size on number four. Sure. Let's bring that out. Let me just say the price on this. This was seven hundred on sale for five sixty. Here we go. I'm gonna measure the Dave David Toon bracelet. It is a five and a quarter with a one and a quarter inch gap, which would be a six and a half. Just slightly smaller than six and a half. It's tight on me. I put it on a minute ago. Yep. So that is number four. Paula wants to see the back of number five. Here you go, Paula. We've got uh, Kenneth Kenneth Jones. That's it. Kenneth Jones Hallmark here is Jay with his crossed arrows. Beautiful coral. That is number five. Number four is the bracelet for. What is that, 600, so 480. The Volo Tie by Jonathan. Um, Bayuka, Zuni, Silversmith, this is the Buffalo Dancer. Mm. Beautiful. Huge Volo Tie. I love the little tips at the end too. Great price. It was 900 on sale for 720. And we have two more rings still available. We've got a uh, number, what number was this? Number 10. 10. Our spiny oyster cluster ring. I'm crazy about that ring. Tiny Oyster Cluster, uh, Andrew Sofke, this artist, Navajo, uh, it was 700 on sale for 560 love it. Uh, what is the size on that? It fit me, it's probably a seven. It's an eight. An eight? Yeah. I'm just going to wear it for the rest of the show. And then finally, we've got our old Kingman turquoise adjustable ring. Just let us know your size. We'll shape it up for you. It was 600 on sale for 480 or 470 something. It was, it was actually uh, 597. So awesome. Oh, and then my bolo tie. Oh yeah. Uh, this is a uh, Edison Yazi piece. Um, we've got the lovely inlay work. Back of the ring. They want to see the back of the ring. We got it. This was uh, 700. It'll be on sale for 540. Back of the ring. Leticia. There you go. Stamp work. It's a pretty uh, thin band. But it's flexible, so it is adjustable, and it can be your size. Um, we have to give our laser welder a test and maybe do a custom band on it, too. Maybe one of those Armando Joe bands that we have. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that is our show this evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us. I'm just going to put them on. Don't yeah, mind me. Just no big deal. Ring on every finger. Here, throw that on there, too. Can you fit them all? Hey, can you fit this one, too? Oh, my God. <laughs> my grandmother would be proud. There you go.
Uh, Vicky, would like to see the coral ring uh, on a finger. There you go. Well, let all me, the fingers. Let me actually <laughs> show her. <laughs> oh. Get the the coral ring is two hundred and thirty one dollars. It's beautiful. And I was commenting earlier how cool it is that they shape the bezel to the natural shape of the coral, instead of altering the coral's natural beauty. Thank you, Virginia. Thanks for joining us tonight. Someone wants to see the coral ring on a finger. I hope that does it. Okay. <laughs> so. Woo! Okay, gosh, I don't know which belongs where. Got them all mixed oh, up. Oh, no! I think it was like that. Yep, this one's over here. Okay. And then that one's right here. All right. <laughs> I think this one is yours, too. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. This is going to be a normal Friday night thing where we bring out the bigger pieces. Uh, we've got Eddie Secretario, our guest artist, coming in tomorrow. So if you all know Eddie or love his work, he will be here with us as a guest. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie, Eddie Secretario. He's a Navajo silversmith. You all know Eddie. Uh, he's known for his incredible speed with the saw. Oh. Um, he's got some videos. If you get a chance to check him out, we've got one in our inner circle. Uh, where he's just, oh my gosh, I, I cut my finger off. He's huh. just a machine, just Wow. Kind of, he doesn't oh, measure, he eyeballs everything. He's he's a really He doesn't artist. measure, he yeah. eyeballs? Yep, he just he just looks at it and goes. His, his like vision is locked in. He told me, he's like, hey, I can't see that over here, but if you put it right here in this window, I can see everything. That's incredible. Oh, I yeah. can't wait to meet him. So Eddie will be here tomorrow. He's bringing his own jewelry. Um, can't wait to see him. We're going to have uh, Alvin Monty come in... Uh, Next week, next Saturday, we've got Nick Nez the Saturday after that, and then we have Dina Platero the Saturday after that. So we're backed up the rest of awesome. March with guest artists, and Carla says sold. On which one? Uh, Carla, which one would you like? Thank you, Tammy. Uh, we're doing our best here. We're just a small shop, um, and we're, we're, we're growing. Uh, we're doing what we can to serve uh, the local community. Uh, share with you all the beautiful jewelry we have here in the Southwest and uh, yeah thank you for joining us if you're catching the show after hours a lot of these pieces are probably still available mm -hmm. um, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions we're gonna be honoring the sale through the weekend and then uh, the prices will go back up on Monday all right that sounds like a good deal to me awesome great to see you. Uh, what were you were you looking at a piece uh, Carla or were you talking about uh, Eddie's Eddie, Eddie sold. Or do you just want them all, Carla? You can have them all if want you want. Want them all. Uh, if you have any special requests or anything like that, please let us know. Um, we'd love to do more work in the community and, and do some more educational videos. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to try to, you know, loop in more um, information about where we come from. What There's so much happening in New Mexico with artists, with culture, with events, with landscape, with just... It's such an incredible and beautiful place to live, and we want to start sharing that with you a little bit more. That's right. Uh, Tammy's asking us to speak a little bit about the interns. Um, we are oh, yeah. we have a nonprofit uh, branch of our shop, which is dedicated to helping uh, the local community. Um, we've got a scholarship opportunity for Native American students who are interested in going through the jewelry program at our local community college, and we are going to be donating. Uh, some jewelry and our, and we're going to be selling it on the show and we've had donations from other local artists mm -hmm. as well as uh, collectors such as yourself who has sent some pieces in and we can't wait to do that we're going to raise money for uh, some tools and some school expenses for uh, students we're also going to be having an internship and this is open to any student southwest uh, student that is uh, at CNM and would like to get uh, school credit uh, and a paid internship and mm -hmm. uh, be part of our Team, we need the help, um, and uh, it'd be great to get some young students in here and, and get everyone yeah. all involved. I so. think it's just really cool that Turquoise Guys is really making an effort to keep the jewelry tradition alive with young people and making sure that this isn't anything that's going to die out. Not that we're afraid that it's going to, but really just helping kids that are interested in it have the tools they need to succeed in it because it's such a part of our culture and it's such a part of our community. And um, it's such an incredible way for us to tell our stories in indigenous communities and express ourselves and um, share the beauty of who we are with other people like all of you. 
That's right. Um, and Tammy's asking about how do we send donations. Um, we are working on our not profit website right now. It's uh, tskiescoop.com uh, because it is uh, a 501c3. Um, you will receive a... Uh, we don't know to just like give you a receipt right away or wait until we sell the jewelry to give you a, uh, a donation receipt that you can use right off on your taxes because it's a nonprofit. You can mm -hmm. do that. Um, we will have, we're working on the page right now um, for donations for jewelry um, and then it'll have the information there um, if you'd like to donate some jewelry or... But she bought some jewelry, didn't she? She did. So... So that's right. 5% of our sales, uh, that's of our signature lines. Oh, so not these the, ones. Uh, it depends on the artist because if we have artists come in, we 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 let uh, artists do uh, donations as well. Okay. And yes. um, the, either five percent of the artist sales, if it's the artist jewelry, goes to the nonprofit, mm -hmm. or they can donate a piece of jewelry. Okay. And that's just All one right. of the things yes. that we do. I'm yeah. still learning. So, thank you, Virginia. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. We know that there's a lot of shows out there. Uh, we know that uh, your time is valuable, and we appreciate you spending your time with us. Uh, you're part of our family. Um, we see a lot of you every week. Um, we have an inner circle. We'd love you to, for you to join if you haven't joined yet. Um, there's a there's a short code for that. I think Holden for inner circle. Uh, Holden's going to put in the feed below the link to the inner circle and uh, please join that and invite your friends who are interested in supporting and helping and jewelry geeks like us. Uh, love to see your pieces and your collections. Yes. Oh, there it is in the in the. Just put the link in the description there. Uh, we'd, we'd love to see more. Um, so if you're in town in Albuquerque, New Mexico, we've got a small shop mm -hmm. in the northeast, yeah. uh, the corner of Wyoming and Manal in Uptown. Uh, please swing by. We'd love to see you. So we'll see you tomorrow at 3.30 Mountain Standard Time. Yes. That is uh, 2.30 Pacific, uh, 5.30 Eastern. 4.30 Central. 4.30 Central. <laughs> Awesome. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.